Well, this is unexpected. It is Monday the who, 12th of April and lockdown restrictions have been lifted. Excuse me, I've just got to make sure that I um, locked the van. I think I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> These days I'll do that and it'll have dire consequences. We were allowed to stay away, so I thought sod it, I'm going to make the most of this. And I've come out to somewhere I haven't been in ooh, six years. Come down to Spurn Point. And I've been looking for a little sleepy spot. And I found a lovely little place, nice and quiet. Uh, I think we're near Kilmsey, but I couldn't be certain. And there's a couple of fishermen down here. I thought I'd have a quick wander around to see what the, land of the lay of the land is like. And I've spotted two possible mineral compositions that I just wasn't expecting. So I didn't rush to get here. High tide is about three minutes time. And it is so calm, so calm, and it's beautifully mild. I wouldn't go so far as to say it's warm, but mild it definitely is. About 10 degrees, I think, beautiful sunshine. We're not gonna get a sunset, which is the other reason I didn't rush. Uh, there is not a cloud in the sky. And I think the forecast is the same for tomorrow morning. But hey, you can't have it all. So I'm gonna puddle off up here, I'm about 500 yards from where I park Maddie. And we'll set up in a very precarious position and see what we can get. by the sun but out here somewhere the most bizarre pathway with a railing on it it's really random and I really wasn't expecting that at all now we are in a little bit of a precarious position we're on the rocks that lead down into the water so there's a fisherman over here and I really don't want to interrupt him or get caught up in his line so I'm gonna find a a balancy place down here somewhere and see what I can get. It looks like we're now at high tide. This is wonderful. Don't you just love it when you come across something totally, totally unexpected? Now at the moment I am just shooting with the 17 to 55 which is giving me, I have no idea if you can see or not because I'm now being completely blinded, quite a lot of sky. I could go up, which I might do because I quite like to isolate that in the sea of blue. Although giving a, putting a horizon in kind of maybe makes more sense to give it some sort of context. As I popped the 10 stop and a 0.6 reverse grad on, I think I'm shooting at f14. I've moved the white balance up to 10k, 10,000 kelvins. I focus slap bang on those railings. What a bizarre thing to find! It's fabulous. The last one I did was about 40 seconds. Yeah, that. I'm, oh, I'm still trying to figure out all the buttons on this thing. That was f14. That was 66.7 seconds, and that's just evened out the sky and the ocean slightly, or the sky and the sea slightly. It's got a very pale blue hue to it, which I'm guessing is caused by the quality of the light. So I'm going to mess around, maybe go high and see if I can just get it fully surrounded by water. But as I say, we are on slightly dodgy ground here. I'm kind of balanced on some rocks. I really don't fancy falling in that lot. I certainly don't fancy losing the camera in that lot. So yes, what a fabulous start to the evening. In the distance, you may be able to make out Spurn Lighthouse. How calm is this? And it's supposed to be even calmer tomorrow morning. And we are still an hour off sunset. So maybe we're going to get that hue in the sky. There isn't any cloud to speak of. 
So maybe this wasn't such a bad little spot to come to. As I say, the blocks down the bottom end, I'm going to go to this tiniest little piece of beach you've ever seen in your life. It's like the size of two handkerchiefs. And there's some massive tankers and things going in in the distance. I'm going to push this up to about 75 seconds. Oh, well. Excuse me, that's my phone. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't blowing at 66 seconds. So I'm going to see if I can just push it a little bit further. And then I'm going to try shooting up higher to really isolate it and just get it surrounded by the water. And then I might stick the 70 to 200 on which I haven't tried with this adapter, so that could be fun. Yes, what I am loving about this camera is that as I'm changing the exposure time, I can see on the LCD what's happening with my exposure. So judging when I'm going to hit the highlights, when I'm going to overexpose, or if I'm going to underexpose, is so much easier than with the D7200. So maybe it wasn't such a bad decision, I don't know. I wanted to wait for more of the pathway to come into view but I was getting bored because I can't help myself I just have to shoot 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 I did break the 70 to 200 out mm, not, not quite so sure I'm I think it was worth it but we had to try it whilst we're here I'm now going down to have a look at these blocks the temperature's beginning to drop a little bit and we're still excuse me See, there are two reasons where I wear a hat. One is to uh, keep me warm, and the other is to keep this bloody mop of hair under control. Because <laughs> when I've got my hat on, it's all over the place, and my eyes, and I can't see what's going on. As I say, this is the sleepy spot for this evening. I've had a quick read up of it, there's lots of dog walkers and fishermen, and that's about it. And it's right down the back end of beyond. So just give me a couple of minutes to sort out getting down onto this little bit of beach which is now pretty much underwater once i get the other side then i'll show you what we're talking about because at the moment we'll just be looking straight into the sun i'm guessing that they are some kind of sea defense of some description and they're contrasting beautifully against that i just can't i'm sorry i can't get over the colour of that sea. It's phenomenal. And we've got some rocky things here and some more rocky things here. And we've got a ridiculously bright sky. But this is what I was talking about with the beach. And it's like a proper little strip of sand. It'd be a fabulous place. So yes, that, that's kind of appealing. You might just be able to make out this little darker swirly patches all along here and that's where the rest of them go out so they obviously go out quite a way excuse me i've just had a mouthful of oldies oh so delish they're like um nuts and corn smokehouse barbecue flavor oh my god you can't just eat a handful you have to demolish an entire packet i love this little place did I tell you? I didn't know about this. <laughs> Let's have a completely bag down there. There's a few more dog walkers turned up. A few more fishermen who tell me there aren't any more of those metal railing things anyway. This sort of rocky outcrops here. Oops, put it down the right way. Rocky outcrops here. I say rocks. I think actually it's... Um... Oh, I don't know. Could be rock. Beautiful greenery on the top of them. Mm, I'm not quite so sure it's rock, I think. I think it <laughs> I think it could be mud. Oh. Mm. 
what I really wanted to shoot was these. And just, <laughs> just as I started to get set up, a lovely old gentleman started talking to me. So that kind of blew that one out of the water. So I think I've actually missed the best of the light on it. I have got an image set up there. It should be 1 25th of a second, which is random. I'm going to run it out. It's 20... Did you see how that alters as I'm changing the, t the exposure type? That's so wonderful. There is one last chance of getting some light on these, which will be when that sun drops just below that cloud. And then we'll have, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe? When hopefully we'll get some beautiful light on these. That colour is wonderful, isn't it? So that's... Yeah, I mean, it's not exciting at all, but I kind of quite like it in a minimal way. And I... Oh, <laughs> keep forgetting. If you put your hand over the eyepiece, it, um, <laughs> it turns the rear screen off. It's really frustrating, that though. You see, it's, it's burning through, but it's just not casting its light far enough across. What's it on? That's on 13 seconds. I could, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's why it was on 13 seconds. I could push that to 25. It's really annoying. I'm getting light on the side of the camera. In fact, talking of which, I really ought to shield. That's better. Shield the filters. But not really any noticeable light out there. Or maybe it's just because my eyes have adjusted to it. Now, somebody did ask me on a previous video if how I set up to do a shoot with the 10 stuff or the 6 stuff on, that's better. There is light, I just can't see it with my naked eye. 30 seconds is letting enough light in to really bring out the textures and turn that milky, that water milky. Yeah, somebody asked me how I focus when I've got the 6 stop on or the 10 stop because they fancy doing long exposures. Take your filters off, particularly the 10 stop. The 6 stop you can sometimes get away with focusing through it because it's not as dense. But the 10 stop certainly, set your focus up, then put your filter on. Well, I am gobsmacked. I'm also very hungry and rather thirsty. I could definitely do with a cup of tea. What a glorious evening. So I shall see you in the morning. It's going to be an ungodly hour to get up. Sunrise is just after six. First light is 20 past five, if memory serves me right. So a 10 minute drive, get up at four, moving by Ooh, quarter past four there for half past four given that I'll probably get lost half past four to half past five that gives me an hour's walk out to the lighthouse and it'd be scary because in the dark I'd be on my own <laughs> I'm such a wuss <laughs> right that's it gonna love you and leave you hope you've enjoyed this little look round the most bizarre little place but how absolutely delightful I'll catch up with you next Sunday. Bye for now.